welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Trey and I'm a fourth year medical student in lovely Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so today I want to do something that I haven't done in a while, which is more of a like sit down, chit chat, get ready with me. I'm super excited because it's a new year. I always have like this new energy when it's a new year. I know some people are like, oh, New Year's resolutions, blah, blah. Also, we have mimosas today, so new year, new thing to drink on the channel. Definitely needs more champagne. Um, so yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys today about some of my goals for 2020, but I also want to show y'all some new products that I'm like in love with. The first thing is my new iHome vanity that my boyfriend bought for me for Christmas. This is like everything I ever needed. Like the lighting it has several different lighting settings, um, which I'll show y'all. It's Bluetooth, so it connects to your phone. You can play music with it. It is a speaker. Um, and it comes with a magnification mirror as well. I mean, honestly, there's nothing that it doesn't have. I've This is my first time officially using it to do my makeup. I've been using it as a speaker though. And then the other thing is, as y'all can see, my hair is straightened. I um, went and got it pressed, but I've been having to keep it up on my own. And I did not have a hair straightener that I liked, so I went to TJ Maxx and I got this one from Hair Fetish, the Hedonist Collection. Um, and this gets up to 450 degrees. It has um, tourmaline ceramic plates, so they get hot really fast, but they're also really smooth and don't really um, like fray your ends and everything. It's just really smoothing for my hair. Um, and it gets really hot. So it, I really don't even have to do little sections. So that's been really nice. So let's just jump into my makeup and talking about some of my goals. And I wanna know what y'all's goals are for the year as well. So I already did my brows off camera just to cut down on total time but um I have several goals for this year that are both personal and then also I like to separate personal and doctor goals because those are totally different for me um so personal goals wise I think my biggest thing is I want to just take better care of myself. My hair is like in the way. I want to take better care of myself. So I get in these kicks, these health kicks, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Guinness. He hates when I'm not talking to him. I don't understand. Um... So I get in like health kicks where I'm like, oh, I'm not going to eat this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to work out, blah, blah, blah. But I don't take care of other parts of my health and then I'm not even consistent with the, you know, let's eat better and do better type part. Um, so I just first off want to be more consistent, but also continue to make sure I'm taking care of my skin. So like more skincare, always taking my makeup off at the end of the night if I do wear it, which I honestly don't wear makeup that often. Um, like just like doing that and then also starting to moisturize. That's on my list, using more serums, moisturizers. Um, And then also drinking more water. I think every year I'm like, I'm going to drink more water. But I'm really going to do it this year. Because like, even right now, I had like, y'all saw I was concealing a lot more like, bumps and stuff. And I'm doing a very soft look today. So I don't really care if everything gets covered or not. Let me just use that excess. get on my eyeballs um so those I want to do that as far as taking care of myself 
Also, I want to start meditating. I've heard a lot of really good things about meditating. If any of you guys meditate, tell me some apps and stuff that I can use to start my meditation journey because that's what I really want to do. And I actually do not have the concealer that I need on the table, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I got my concealer. It's just LA Girl and um, Maybelline Fit Me mixture that I have. It's very hard doing my makeup somewhere that I don't usually do my makeup. Because I'm usually in the bathroom. But today I'm at my dining room table. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, meditating is on my list. Because I have a lot of anxiety over things which I mean anxiety is unnecessary worry so I have anxiety over things where it's like Trey why are you worried about that like tomorrow I start a new rotation I start cardiology and I'm just like first off cardiology is what I want to do but it's just like I'm gonna be around new people it's gonna be a new schedule are they gonna be nice are they not gonna be nice am I gonna look stupid like, I have a lot of thoughts like that, and I really want to have more confidence in myself and my abilities. Because, to be completely honest, I am freaking terrified that in a couple months I'm going to be someone's doctor. Just to be completely honest about the whole thing. I am terrified. And it's like, I know I've studied <clears throat> and I've taken studying very seriously. And I, you know, <sighs> obviously they're not going to give me the freaking degree if I didn't earn it. But it's just a lot to like now be responsible for someone's loved one and be making decisions, calling shots. I mean, obviously with supervision, but... Still. And I think one thing I want to work on is my confidence. I think, like, no one wants a cocky doctor, but you want someone that's, like, not hesitant, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Like, you want someone who knows what they're talking about, and if they don't, or if they need a second opinion, they get that, but they're not like so cocky that they think they know everything. But you also are not like <laughs> scared of them taking care of you because they have that level of confidence and like they're gonna get it done. I guess that's, it's more of a I'm gonna get it done attitude. Um, which when doctors have it, you're just like, wow. Like you are amazing. You are just like a superhero. So I want to exude more of that and let, cause now, like once I'm done being a medical student, there is no like, I don't know, I'll ask the doctor or I don't know, I'll ask the team. So I do want to work on that. Um, that's on the list. Obviously I have several dietary things that I want to do. Um, I really want to cut out dairy this year. And I mean, I'm always trying to cut it out because technically, not technically, I am freaking lactose intolerant. I test it out. I try to see, I always go back to the cow and the cow does not like your girl. The cow does not like me. And I need to stop make, trying to make the cow like me when he does not like me at all. Um, so, I want to cut out dairy. I also, this month, well, starting tomorrow, not today, I'm working on, um, cutting out added sugar. Because me and my family are actually doing a Biggest Losers contest. So we're doing it for three months. Everybody put in 25, including Bay. He's doing it too. So winner takes 125. Which is a lot, okay? It's a lot, and I want it, and I'm gonna win it. So I'll keep you updated on that as well. Just trying to, you know, 
make time for exercise, make time for myself, because I know come June when residency starts, I'll have so many excuses. And if you're already making something a habit, you're going to make sure that you find the time to do it instead of finding more excuses. So, big goals, big goals, big goals. But I think if I do all those things, then also I always want to grow in my faith. Because I saw this really good quote that was saying like, faith is, fear is the absence of faith. Which is very true. Like if you are faithful and hold strong in your beliefs, then you know like if I do X, Y, and Z, it's going to work out in some way. It may not work out how I want it to work out. But it'll work out in, how, in the way that he wants it to work out. So, definitely want to work on that as well. Reading my Bible. Trying to go to church. I haven't found a good church in Atlanta. Also, let me not even say that. That's such a lie. He's going to strike me with lightning. I haven't looked. I think I always make the excuse of like, oh, I need to sleep or like it's my day off. But... I gotta do something or if y'all have like online if your church does any type of online streaming or something like that let your girl know because i wouldn't mind doing that either you know this is supposed to be a soft look and i'm like really going for it i think that, that's that's all we're gonna do on our eyes let's move on to some blush But overall, I'm really excited about this year. I'm excited and then also like hella scared at the same time. Like mainly for the whole like starting residency thing. That's a lot of change. I'm gonna have a job for the first time. I'm worried about not being able to see my family, not being able to see my boyfriend as much, my dog. Like I guess it's things like the fear of the unknown type thing. Um, and that's really what's getting to me now, which is not, it's not ideal because it's getting in my head. Um, <laughs> let's see, I haven't done any mascara and I don't have any mascara on the table, so I'll have to go get some. Oh, we're actually almost done with this look. You guys, I've started using like a small detail brush to do my nose highlight. And this is life changing. Because I can put it exactly where I want it. I can do my little Cupid's bow. I'm not going to do my inner corner because this, I'm, I'm taking Guinness to the dog park after this. Like, I don't need to, I don't need to go that hard. I didn't need to do all this, but I'm doing it also because this video is for you guys and for me. And I love makeup. So I'm going to go run and get my mascara and then we're going to finish this look up. All right, guys. So I put my mascara on in the bathroom because... Who wants to watch me do that? Uh, so now I'm going to line my lips. But while I was in there, I was thinking another thing that I want to prioritize more is protecting my peace. So that means not giving people an emotional response to their behavior. <laughs> because I am uh, can't talk and do that. I am very um sensitive. If you have not picked up from my other videos, I'm very sensitive. And so something that someone does that's like just a bad personality trait of theirs can really like affect me on a deep personal level that I don't understand why I get so worked up. And it's exhausting. 
So I want to work on that as well. Also, we're speaking it into existence, multiple streams of income this year. So finding what that is, what that's going to be for me. I have like a couple things I'm working on, which I'll fill y'all in as I do more. Also, this lip gloss is the truth. My mom said she ordered it off of Amazon. It's called Max Makeup Cherimoya Lip Polish. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's not sticky, super shiny, stays on for a good amount of time. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If there's any goals that y'all are going to be working on, let your girl know down below. And then if you made it to the end of this video, I would like for you to comment a champagne emoji. I think there's a champagne emoji or like a wine glass or something related to mimosas. It's up to you guys. Um, so cheers to this new year. I know we're all going to do awesome, amazing, fantastic things, not only for ourselves, but for others. And I can't wait. So cheers. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.